bits of breaking news that is coming in. Uh, if there was a setback for Manish Sisodia, there has been a setback for Sanjay Singh as well, who was arrested yesterday. The Rouse Avenue court has remanded the AAP leader to five days ED custody. This in connection with the alleged Delhi excise policy scam. Uh, the same alleged scam under which... Uh, Manish Sisodia has been in jail for the last eight minutes. Let me go straight uh, for the last eight months. Let me go straight across to Ishita, uh, Ishika, who is joining us live on the broadcast. Ishika, there were arguments that were made in the Rouse Avenue court today. Uh, of course, Sanjay Singh, the man on our screens who was arrested yesterday, and these pictures are from yesterday, says, if there is a single piece of evidence slash proof against me, punish me. In terms of proof, what has the ED shown the court today except saying that 2 crore rupees were paid to Sanjay Singh at his residence. Beyond that, have they managed to put any sort of proof on the court's table? Well, certainly, Shreya, you know, as you mentioned, the big breaking that has right now come in that Sanjay Singh has been sent to a five-day police custody. In fact, you know, the ED was seeking 10 days, but they have got five days of custody of Sanjay Singh. And certainly, the points that were put forth by the ED in the court was first that, you know, they had taken the mobile phone from his residence and they, uh, they have said that they have to extract the data and then they are going to confront Sanjay Singh based on that data not just that when the court asked you know what, uh, beyond that what is uh, the reason for uh, arresting sanjay singh they had said here you know that they want to confront sanjay singh with two more accused in this case that is what the ed has you know put forth they have not named those two people but they have said that they want sanjay singh to be confronted with them that is why they are asking for the custody not just that you know they have also said here in this uh, you know apart from the financial transaction Action that you also mentioned, they have said that they, uh, you know, if we talk in terms of the uh, document that they have, in fact, retrieved uh, uh, after yesterday's raid, they have also said that they have got an email trail, which certainly shows, you know, that how the transaction was done. So these were the three points that were put forth by the ED saying that they this on this basis they want Sanjay Singh's custody. While we did see on the other hand that Sanjay Singh continued to refute that. He also continued to say that, you know, Sarvesh, uh, you know, Sarvesh, which was when another person that was named was E.D., he should have been summoned before his arrest. Hmm. Sanjay Singh also put forth this point that he had not Correct. been summoned, you know, uh, before and he has uh, directly been arrested. So certainly, you know, strong points that were put forth. But hmm. now he has been sent to a five day of police custody to the E.D. Over to you. Okay, thank you very much, Ishika. So essentially, Sanjay Singh in court making the point, if Sarvesh is the man who was paid this bribe of 2 crore rupees, was it not right for you, that is the enforcement directorate, to actually first call Sarvesh for questioning and then come to me with a summon? He says, A, Sarvesh was not questioned and B, more importantly, I was not summoned. There were 11 hours of raids yesterday at my residence, post which I was simply arrested, despite the fact that my laptop had been taken, my phone had been taken to that the supreme court uh, to that the rouse avenue court did ask the investigating agency as to why there was a need to arrest sanjay singh given the fact that his phone and his laptop had already been taken away by the probe agency we are listening to sanjay singh as well uh, he was speaking to the press right after he came out of the rouse avenue court let's quickly listen in